Greetings from Washington DC. I am on the rummage really for a uh, place to eat and a lot of people have been recommending Ben's Chili House to me which uh, I am opposite and I've got to watch my step here because uh, everywhere I look there are cars on the on the prowl. We've got a taxi driver here. I think he thought I was looking for a taxi but no I am after Ben's Chili Bowl, I'm not after a taxi and uh, I'm just walking up towards uh, Ben's Chili Bowl and this is quite a staple in, a, uh, in Washington DC and uh, let's have a look at what they've got inside So just sitting here waiting for uh, my food to arrive and I've ordered a half smoke, the original half smoke, just looking at the signs that are around here and also fries alongside it, although I wasn't really after the fries, I was more after the original half smoke because that's the uh, item that is famous on the menu, that is the item that a lot of people rave about, that a lot of people recommend and um, so I thought why not go for that. They've also got burgers here as well and other items as well. In fact the menu is quite extensive when you look at it and um, I think uh, come here for the half smoke I think because that's what they're famous for. I mean the other dishes you could probably get somewhere else so uh, that's not what they're known for but they do these as well so I mean burgers and sandwiches and subs they've also got uh, I'm trying to see what else they've got B uh, bowls, uh, chili bowls and so there's a lot of different items here on the menu but the original half smoke and that comes in original or chili I did order the, uh, sorry original and spicy I should say I did order the spicy but they didn't have that this morning and uh, so I asked for the original, original half smoke original that's a bit of a tongue twister actually so that's what I've ordered and uh, hopefully it is good because um, it has been a bit of a trek from my hotel to get in. This place is famous, it is renowned, and uh, I hope it does itself some justice. I hope it does Ben and Virginia, who own the Ben's Chili Bowl, and uh, hopefully it does it justice, which I'm sure it will. So I've just got the uh, Ben's Half Smoke uh, Chili Dog, and it's um, it's quite a sight to look at actually and uh, I've got to say that just looking at it uh, it's probably worth coming all the way from my hotel for this because a lot of people have recommended uh, visiting Ben's it's quite a well well known name in Washington DC itself so I'm gonna give this a go and uh, if this tastes anything like what it looks like it's gonna be good mm. You can taste the hot dog, you can taste the chili, you can taste the mustard, you can taste the onions. Everything in here works. The combination is actually quite good. One thing that I will say, and even this is what I've got on my fingers, and oh you can't beat this. This taste, I've eaten plenty of hot dogs in uh, New York City itself, which is famous for hot dogs. But I don't think they do anything like this. Um, I've ordered fries with mine as well, but you don't actually need the fries. I think the hot dog in on its own, I think this is why Ben's has got a reputation like it has. I mean, just looking around at the uh, uh, the signs that they've got, it's been going since uh, 1958. It's, it's actually got a sign there. Ben and Virginia opened Ben's Chili Bowl in 1958, the year of their marriage. So it's been going through 
the times, the hardships, the struggles in Washington, the marches for freedom and justice. The city is known for a lot of protests, a lot of demonstrations. This, this place has been kept going since then and quite often was a meeting place for a lot of the activities that went on. It's quite a informal place. This is not your fine dining. This is for coming in, having something to eat, just enjoying your time in Washington DC. So I would say if you are in Washington DC, I'll try some of the fries as well just to give these a go. Yeah, like regular fries I guess. Uh, but this is what you come here for. And you know, looking at their menu, it's quite extensive. They've also got burgers here, half smoked salads. They've got a dessert with um, banana pudding. If this wasn't lunchtime and it was the evening, I'd probably have that as well. But I might just have to come back here for the banana pudding. But looking at the um, menu, I guess there's uh, everything here that anyone could want, I guess. Um, if, if, if there's a thing on this menu that you don't like, then I'm afraid you don't like food because um, they've got plenty here that, that will suit everyone, uh, for everyone's palate. So I've got to finish this. I've got to get on with the uh, chili dog. I'm going to have one more bite of it because it's going to get cold. Mm. The chili too is unique. I've never had, I've had chili plenty of times all over the world, but this is different. It's a slightly different taste. I'm not sure what their recipe is and I'm sure they won't tell me. So that was a uh, friend's chili bowl. Uh, a fantastic experience with a lot of people out here today. There's a place next door that has uh, live music, I think, and uh, a lot of people are uh, patrons of the place next door. And uh, I think it's actually called Ben's Next Door. We had a sign actually, Ben's Next Door. Uh, next door, next door restaurant and bar. It said Ben's Next Door. And. Um, so what can I say about uh, Ben's uh, ch chili bowl? I think um, it's definitely one to be visited, I think, if you're in the area, if you're in Washington, DC. It's a, it's a fantastic place inside, actually. It takes you back to, uh, to a time, actually, that uh, very few restaurants and um, places to eat actually go back to history, going back to 1958. So uh, it's worth a, uh, a visit. It's just in the corner over here on uh, U Street Northwest 1200. And uh, it's worth a visit, I would say. Um, it is slightly out of the way of the uh, downtown city area. But so probably about half an hour walk. But it's actually a worth, worthwhile walk, I would say. Because their food, actually, I think... Uh, Whilst it's not fine dining, it actually is good for um, keeping you going throughout the day because I don't think I'll need anything until the evening now. There was that chili was quite rich and I have to say I did like the flavours of the chili. So I'm not sure what they put in it but I didn't ask either because I'm sure I know what the response will be. But um, if ever you're down here in this particular area of Washington DC do come down to Ben's. Uh, it's been there since 1958 and I'm sure it will be going for a lot longer and uh, it will carry on feeding the locals, feeding the tourists such as me and uh, hopefully um, we we'll still hear about it in the years to come. So from uh, Washington near the corner of Ben's, I'm not sure what street this is to be honest, uh, I'm just walking. It's uh, goodbye.